Crazy Pixel. Square Enix has been focusing a lot on remaking their classic titles. Now, the developer has returned to a title that took 25 years to come west, Trials of Mana. Sure, the game got released last year as part of the collection of Mana, but this version has been updated with a new engine and several new features. The outcome turns out to be one of the best classic fantasy RPGs that sticks incredibly close to its counterpart but still manages to shine in the modern gaming space. Fine, I just won't ask for lessons anymore then. Take that. Trials of Mana begins by giving players a choice of three of six characters, one of which will be the leader of the group. Depending on your preference, some story scenes and interactions will be altered, but the goal is relatively the same. Find the Sword of Mana and save the Mana Tree. While this seems rather straightforward, there's plenty that stands between those heroes and their objectives. Each character has their respective arc and reasons for being on this journey, but everything mostly boils down to corruption in nearly every kingdom. Dark power has risen within the region, which forces these characters on an adventure to save it. Although you will only control three characters throughout a playthrough, other characters appear to assist in the narrative progression and give information on their backstory. It ends up working as a smart way to include them, even if they are unplayable. The adventure itself is traditional JRPG storytelling at its finest. These six heroes are the only ones that can stop the threat against the world and they do whatever they have to to save it. Every beat after enhances the traditional experience by making you run through dungeons multiple times, unlock secret areas, collect unique items, fight enormous bosses, explore towns, and speak with NPCs. There's no bells and whistles here are outlandish new systems that make you feel like you're playing anything other than a mana game. Even the various shops represent a simpler time by each having increasingly more powerful equipment the further you get in the game. No, there's no fusing or enhancing here, just straightforward equipment for your characters. The gameplay has its share of repetition, but requires you to explore towns and speak with NPCs to gather information. This happens a handful of times, but what's strange is that sometimes the NPCs don't have anything interesting to say. Sometimes, however, speaking with them will unlock new abilities after you get inspired by what they have to say. This level of exploration is also found in dungeons. Journeying away from the quest marker will more likely than not end with treasure or special items. Dungeons are well designed and each have a themed layout. At first, I would have considered them to be copied and pasted versions of each other other, but the dungeons have other gimmicks that make them unique such as lava or poison floors. The dungeons and towns were a massive improvement in Trials of Mana. I appreciated the level of detail that went into making each area unique since the repetitious gameplay could have weighed heavier had they been unmemorable mazes. Each time you level up, you're awarded training points. These points can be applied to characters to unlock passive abilities and new skills. Other abilities are added throughout the story that can be accessed in battle using the shoulder buttons. Everything is kept simple without the need for tons of menus to get lost in. You are given all the information you need to customize the characters with within the few different tabs. During gameplay, characters will be able to change classes, which is tied to their level. It was a strange way when the feature was first introduced, as I was two levels shy of choosing a new class, and up until that point, I never ran away from a fight. Still, these class changes come with new costumes that I'm sure fans will appreciate. Playing through the game on normal difficulty presented no real problems when facing off against monsters on the field, but things change when you're fighting against bosses. Each boss has a few attack patterns along with a special attack that can be interrupted. These later fights put your skills to the test, and the player must master the art of dodging and setting up their character's battle AI to fit their playstyle if they want to survive. This also highlights the glaring omission of the cooperative mode found in the original. These characters just sometimes don't do what they are asked, which is typically when they die. This is only apparent in a few of the tougher boss battles, but it shows up from time to time and just caused my eyes to roll. I adore the fantasy look of the character designs in Trials of Mana. The developers kept true to the classic designs and fully realized them in 3D. One issue I had with the class system is how long it took to actually switch the class. I believed I timed it at about 10 minutes just to change each of my character's classes and watch the animations play through. Luckily, you only have to go through this a few times. Sound design is exceptionally well orchestrated as the music has been updated. However, it's also possible to switch to the classic soundtrack if that's what you want to do. Players can choose whether to play the game in either Japanese or English audio. Sadly, I don't think all of the English audio is that good. Some of the characters just come off as unenthusiastic and lifeless. However, I did end up enjoying how it allowed me to understand the characters' personalities a bit better. The Japanese audio is excellent, but some of the nuances could become lost in translation.
Trials of Mana is unapologetically traditional, and yet still makes itself accessible to all JRPG fans both new and old. The dedication that the developers show as they retain the fantasy appeal of the classic title with updated systems is what ultimately shines during every moment of this adventure. There's plenty here to explore with one campaign taking me around 20 hours to complete, and no part of me wants the adventure to end. Sure, some aspects of it could be improved, but Trials of Mana is an adventure worth going on and you'll be thrilled that you did. Noisy Pixel is giving Trials of Mana a 9 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Please read the full review at NoisyPixel.net. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content.